Go ahead, boy, let him click. Look, you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead, boy, let him click. How old were you when you first started smoking? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I was 15. Been about almost. Been about 15 years, bruh. I tried to. I tried other drugs, you know. Uh -huh. But never. Nothing ever. Nothing ever. I made my wife like Mary Jane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we were talking about the other day, like, you know, alcohol will make your decisions worse. Drugs will make your decisions worse, but mm. weed will actually stop you from doing some really fucking dumb <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know personally. I've done like party shit, like, you know, like Molly, like Coke and shit like that. Like, I've never done no crack or no fucking heroin, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? What is Coke like? Like, I've almost did that shit. It's not <clears throat> for people like us. You know what I'm saying? It's not. You, I, I, you're better off doing like some Molly or some shit. And I'm not saying anybody should do any drug. Or Adderall. So I was asking for it yesterday. Adderall. That's yeah. what college kids be taking. And it's like, it just gives you energy. You know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. with Kobe, it gets you hyped up. But that shit is like, it's bad. Like if the, the, like the decisions that you make afterwards, like it's kind of like alcohol. It fucking, it fucks with your, um, your mo like your motor skills and your thought process and shit. Mm -hmm. Versus Adderall. Like I didn't take Adderall and I'm, I'm like, I got like five job interviews lined up. I got I got, I got Jada. Jada wrote me last night because I just been on the, the internet fucking networking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Jada, Jada kids. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> you know I be on the shit, man. But see, you see him right there, Jada kids. Well, I feel like I heard that name before. Jada kids, the rapper nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, man. I showed you the Bustin' Rhyme shit too. Yeah, you did. So yeah. Anyways. Drugs are bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Weed is good. That's the <laughs> moral of the story. Weed and water for for the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? Weed and water. It's funny. I I smoke weed, but I wouldn't tell my brother or any of my family members to do it with me. Because I know, like, from based on where they come from, they never smoked weed. They have drank alcohol, yeah. but they never smoked weed. Okay. But I started consistently smoking weed when I met this girl. It was, like, just, like, smoking... Drinking and fucking. Yeah, that was like the summer flame thing. The three ings. Three smoking, ings. smoking, drinking, and fucking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, how you, what's up? How you feel about the whole fucking the no mask mandate? If you don't have, if you have your shot, you don't gotta wear a mask. <coughs> I just been pretending like. <laughs> what? I just been pretending like I. Like I got much, <coughs> they can't ask you that anyway. But <coughs> I mean, I haven't caught the fucking virus yet. Mm -hmm. okay. You know what I'm saying? You good? I got. It. I am fucking. It's been yeah. I was working at Costco last year. Last year, this was, uh, Costco was a motherfucking epidemic of Corona, nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had motherfuckers from any city, people from New York coming, people from yeah. China, Philly, yeah. everybody coming yeah. to Costco. You know what I'm saying? So. I was right in the middle of the war, <laughs> and I said, I'm still here. I ain't caught this shit yet. Mm -hmm. So that whole mask shit was just, because they don't even know. They, at one point, they're saying the mask helps you, but then it doesn't. Yeah. So what do you, what the, why the fuck was that? Listen to you. You, you don't even know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? But who knows this shit? So it, it affects everyone differently, because I could be wearing a mask and inhale. Instead of inhaling COVID, I could inhale the, the, all those chemicals that the mask is made of. Yeah, know? exactly. Or we're inhaling fucking, we're not exhaling, um, Carbon dioxide. Every time we exhale, that's what we're that's what we're holding in our bodies. We're, so we're sit, we're storing the carbon dioxide, mm -hmm. protecting ourselves from Corona. <laughs> <laughs> I took my COVID shot. I had my shot, but you had I your shot? yeah, but I still wear my my mask. I that's still wear strong. my mask everywhere I go. Exactly. When I had when I had my shot, um, and it's only a one shot because I took the Johnson. I didn't feel any effects. I just felt like a little sore. That's what I was gonna ask. Did you have any? Any uh, after effects? Or? I felt a little sore on my left arm, but that was just because of the shot. Okay. That wasn't because of the uh, the vaccine. See, my mom, said, my mom got it. She said her ribs were sore, her rib cage was sore. But she's then again, she's older. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? She's like in her fifties, so that could be from she's on. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. could be from anything. I've only seen online. I've seen only I've seen a lot of people having bad reactions, but I haven't seen anything out here locally. Nothing like that. That shit got me. How are you gonna put this out? And I normally don't do that. I think it's that leaf that you got. <laughs> you wrote that shit magic. You got high as well? 
That's high, bro. I, I didn't even really smoke today either. So, uh, oh, you trying to put? You, you trying to keep? Fuck, we keep smoking. This. Yeah, we yeah. keep smoking. This. All right. <laughs> uh, I, I'm getting more weed anyway when we go back to grind. We gotta stop at drink crib. I got it. You good? I like these shoes. So how much these cost? Those were three dollars for, for the pack? two packs. And this is mad, way healthier than what I'm smoking. Yeah, let me like see this shit again. Let me see this shit again. Mother, really? I got it from the vape shop. Huny Lemon. It's the new wave right there. I need to take a picture of that. I remember that shit. Yeah, that's the way right there. I see. I used to go to those uh, gas stations, 7 Eleven, Seiko, and buy the cigarillos, take out the paper, and roll it from there. But ever since I found this, you know, I just found it like less, no, not nicotine, none of that infused uh, tobacco yeah. that the cigarettes contain. I'm just trying to live a healthy, healthy, simple life, you know? Of, sure, of course, of course. And that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to get rid of the fucking, I smoke cigarettes sometimes, so that's just definitely not good. But I'm trying to stop that and the fucking, the, the leaves I be smoking, them fucking, um, game cigarettes and shit we were smoking the other day. <laughs> I feel like I was, how does that sound, the shit we were smoking the other day? It was fucked up, but yeah, bro, them leaves, man, that shit just, just yeah, man. Good. Which one, no, you said the vape shop? Yeah, yeah. it was. And you London. So you have three kids, bro? Yeah, my son is on. Um, my son is. I have, bro. This is what I be. Listen, man. Since we on, since we on, whatever. Since we on air right now, to all the to all the um, young motherfuckers out there, you know what I'm saying wear protection, bro. I, and I, I ain't saying that in a bad way, cause I probably wouldn't even be alive if I didn't have my kids, my nigga. I was so reckless, bro. I was. I just. I didn't give a fuck, bro. I wouldn't even get into this, cause I can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> we ain't trying to get indicted, bro. Fuck you, nigga. I was so I, I always thank God for my kids, but I had my first son. I was nineteen years old, bro. You know what I'm saying my son's a my son just turned twelve. My dude, he's a, he's a star, bro. It's fucking baseball, basketball, every anything he plays, mm -hmm. like he people come from the crowd. That's your child. Like he's a he's the, <laughs> you know what I mean. A protege is something great, bro. You know he has his little <coughs> he gets his little attitude and shit like any kid does. Yeah, he's a good kid. I got two daughters. Fucking four or five. <coughs> me and the mommy together, but we cool. You know what I mean, she put me on child support. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I pay for it. It is what it is. I still take them. You know what I mean, on my on my when I on my pocket. You know what I mean? It's love. I don't my flesh and blood. So mm -hmm. you know still see them? Yeah, my dad. I. You know what I mean, none of us had dads growing up. None of us. None of my cousins. I don't remember any of our cousins. My brothers having like any kind of male role model. Mm -hmm. All, you know what I mean? So I've always been that, like, fuck it. Whatever I'm going through, you know what I mean? I'll make sure they get to see me yeah. at least. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, my son, my son's like, he, he be on YouTube on my videos and shit. Oh, hi, dad. You know what I'm saying? That should be motivating me, so. But that's dope, man. Like, you're still there. Um, you know, I don't see that there's a lot of kids who have a father. Yeah, you know, bro. I, I grew up with my, without my biological father. Yeah. Like, without my biological mother. Mm -hmm. you know? So you know how that shit feels that way. Yeah. So it, I can guarantee you something mm -hmm. happened with some chick out here. Mm -hmm. Even if it didn't work out, you're going to be there in that kid's life where he looks just like you. Exactly. Like, yeah. He look how the yeah. fuck are you going to, you know what I'm saying? And at first, I'm not, I, don't make it, don't get it wrong. Like, when I first had a kid, I was still running the streets. I didn't know how to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was still running the streets and I was still, I'd go there with my son and I'd be with my family, but I'd leave. For five six hours, you know what I mean, or I leave for the night, and I, and I was still, and then it wasn't until my son was like f like five, when you start realizing, yeah, you, yeah, you're seeing him, but you're still missing out on time in his life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now all I do is spend time with my kids. Like I show you my phone, all it's all my. I don't go to on my birthday. I was with my kids. Mm -hmm. Like I don't on my birthday. I didn't go to the bar or go yeah. to the club. Took my kids to Boston so they could have. That that makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's shit that makes me happy. Like I spend all my money on them. I don't care about having, I mean, sometimes it's too much because I don't have my shit together. Like, I, like I, I really just need a car. That's really it. Like, I'll, be sorry, I, I'll go blow it on them. Yeah. I'll have four or $500 and we'll go blow it. I mean, you know what I mean? Because cause life is, you know, mm -hmm. I've seen it gone too many times like that. So who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? I just live for the moment. Trust me. I know you, man. If you had a kid, bro, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Nothing shit, man. Like, I've let people say the wildest shit to me, like, you know, because it's, jail is not, unless you really, like, hurts, it's, none of this shit's worth it, bro. Like, dr the drug gang, I used to sell drugs. None of it's, like, you want to be a kingpin, it's fine. I'm not, that's not what I'm about. That's not what makes me happy. And, like, cars and jewelry, mm -hmm. that's, that's not, I won't trade my soul for that. My soul is my children. So I can give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I've I done, done all that shit. Like I don't care about. I, I've never really been. You know what I'm saying? Like a like with benches and shit. But I've done. I I got some paper. And the shit ain't add up. Even the other shit don't add up. That's why I'm gonna try to get in with this rap money, nigga. That yeah. way, can't they? Why they can take it from me? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, all that shit, niggas out here trying to get rich off that shit. That shit can be taken from you at four a.m., five a.m. That shit can all be gone, nigga. And now you got your kids lined up in decent eyes, son. It's not that never gonna be me. I'll struggle for it, bro. You used to be, you, you said that your kids are they have your soul. So to me, it says that you you do, you think spiritually as well. You know, yeah, like you're connected to. Yeah, I, I won't trade my soul. You know, they say people sell their soul. Yeah, it's not ne not necessarily uh, get doing a ritual with the devil to sell your soul. What they mean by that is you're trading your morals, something you care about, for something that's you know what I mean, just benefiting you far, uh, financially or whatever the case may be. That's what they. That's what the real meaning. Is. That's what the meaning is to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And to me, I won't sell my soul to no silly shit because that's. You know what I mean? What's really worth it? You know what I mean? I'm sure you got your morals, your family, whatever you leave behind. It's the same morals. Like, but it could, those morals could take a while. You know, I, like it's a oh, while. Bro, for I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. On your way to there, like, I don't know if you could even find out what are your rules and morals. You know, before that, it could be so self-destructive because you're finding oh, your, yourself. You know, I was, bro. I was the, look, the word. My middle name was destructive the whole time, bro. When I and this is what I'm saying. I had to learn a lot, bro. Cause I used to be wild, my nigga, like getting, acting a fool. You know what I mean, yeah, and this is when my son was born. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a, like you said, it's a lot of learning and it's a lot of yeah. really realizing. Because most people have kids, but well, not most people, but I know niggas who who've been in that situation. And let's say something happened with their kids, like their mom will take the kids out of their life, and they'll just stop, like fuck it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, all right. You know what I'm saying? And just go. But and I don't know. It's just never been me. Whatever happens, I come back. I, I come back to them. Like I got, I can't live without them. And now it's to the point where, like, I, I don't know. So that's I feel cool. like they're your comfort. Yeah, they're that's all I care. That's all I care about, bro. So that makes me happy. Like, I can give a fuck about anything else. Like, mm. like even my own family. Like, I got a lot of family that I don't even like. I don't even know if I love them. And this is gonna sound fucked up. But I don't even know if I. You know what I'm saying? If something mm -hmm. happened to, I probably would just be like, "Damn!" But, I feel that way. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Know, and yeah. they put themselves there. I'm sorry that I, I didn't. You know, it's not that. Mm -hmm. It's I didn't. It's just you know, when there's no love coming from a certain object. You right. know, I'm big on the universe and shit, vibrations and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, you're you're thinking in terms of frequency. Yeah. How could I frequency wise? How could I? I feel no vibrations there. How could I fucking? give them back or have any on my own that's not even this is, and i said it's their own fault it's my fault too because how could i have that back if i'm not getting any vibration niggas ain't ready for that combo you know what i'm saying i talk yeah i'll be on some other shit bro that's a book i'm reading What's told that? me about about frequency mm -hmm. vibration gratefulness you know sounds cliche but there's there's stories with each of those topics to be discussed yeah. you know because listen I, i've noticed like all right and this is the truth like like if I was having a bad day, see, people can feel that energy. Feel like people, people don't want you around, mm -hmm. or if you have, a, or if you wake up with a different positive mindset and you're having a good day, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. People will want that around. I've had people like, yo, I don't want you. I don't want you around. I don't want you around me right now. You're killing my vibe, or whatever the case may be. And you don't even realize you're doing it, mm -hmm. but it's because you are on. You have your own negative vibrations going off mm -hmm. in your head and stuff, right. and, and they can feel that. Yeah. You don't have to say much. You know what I'm saying? It's they all feel about it. They, feel it. Yeah. <laughs> they can feel it. It's like, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. Chick is deep. It, it, so, I, you know, I've been trying to be more positive nowadays. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. No fucking answer. It's, it's fucking hard, bro. It's hard as fuck. Well, life is fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking hard. <laughs> it's yeah. hard as fuck, but I've been trying, bro. But, you know. How often do you have deep conversations? I don't. Huh? Nah, bro. Ain't nobody to have it. Like, <coughs> People don't want to hear, people don't like to hear me talk. People, people don't want to listen. People don't want to listen. Yeah, if it comes down to niggas don't want to hear nothing crazy. They don't want to hear shit. I don't, I don't be, I don't be, I don't, I'm high as shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That yeah, shit got to be hard, shit. bro. Yeah, that, that shit though, how much was that? Two? Oh, huh? this? Yeah. Because I, I got to give me a laptop and do all my music and shit. I got this laptop to edit videos. But this was before this this podcast. So what do you mean, edit video? You got a camera? So no, that's that's the next one. Like, get, that's the next. You gotta have a camera yeah. for like. 
Bro, listen, if you get your camera, bro, you understand, <laughs> you understand how much your life is going to change? Seriously. Yeah. Seriously, your life will change drastically. If you get that video camera, then, you know what I'm saying? Get some, some dope shit. I'm telling you, that's how it starts. And then we shooting all kind of shit. I wanted to shoot all kinds of stuff, like Vegas, pranks, Cali, family vlogs, just bring anything, camera. anything, you know? Just like, just capture everyday moments, you know? Make, make stories out of that shit. I like this right here. Start small, get comfortable, being uncomfortable. Cause that's for real shit. Adjust your atmosphere. Design and construct your vision. Be mindful of your stories. Fuck social media. Yeah, that last Remember one was recently. Dreams. That shit's dope. That shit's dope. I bet you wasn't thinking that I was gonna be on here though. That? Yeah. Like you, 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 didn't, you wasn't thinking that I was just that. That would be on your podcast today, though. Oh, you know what I'm okay. saying? <laughs> okay. okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, Shit, don't. Nah, no one, no one has else. Like, people I brought over, no one else has, has seen read that. that. Yeah. I read that. So you have read it, right? Or even, yeah. I'm, even, like, even acknowledge that. Yeah, that even was acknowledge that. I know. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, different vibrations said this. Said this about. My son seen the, the dummy. Yeah. That shit funny as shit. Was he? My son's the first one who's seen it. That's so crazy. <laughs> King Cooper? Yeah, that's, what, that's his name on my phone. His name's, his name's Quinn. He got the same name as me. So he's Quinn the second. Mm hmm. Q2. Q2. Well, fucking, yeah, Q2. That's pretty dope. But yeah, he loves that shit. I, can't, I still can't believe you have that. That shit is hell. This dummy? <laughs> yeah, that shit is dope, bro. That's my landlord's. Hey. A few people who came over and seen that, they always take out their phones, they pull out their phones. They take a photo, right? right? Yeah, you yeah. have to. Take a video. <laughs> you have to. Legit. That shit dope. All right. What, we got, what you got going over there cooking up? For the trappers and the head busters, the ones who hug the block in the bread clutches. All my life, my only fear was that the fit. Yeah, we can't. I don't even know if we should be giving them that for free. Yeah. Uh, this shit is hard, boy. Q H. Hey, run that shit up, Trey. Uh, we reaching our goals and they mad at us. When did you, uh. <laughs> When did you write this song? Which one is it? Mad at Us. I think I wrote that song like three weeks ago. Only three weeks ago? Yeah. And you already uploaded it? Yeah. Like I write music, I make music, I record music. I, <laughs> I'm high. I make music <laughs> and I record music too, like super fast. It's like really a problem. It probably took me, a, it probably took me maybe 40 minutes to record that song. And I, and mind you, what I got, the first one I sent you, that's the first time, that was the first, one of the first drums I did in the studio. And I haven't been there, I haven't, I haven't been inside the studio before that in maybe about a year and a half. So it took me a couple of takes to get it right, but I still left it there within, a, within the hour, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I do this shit, like I be really doing this shit, bro. I don't brag about it, or I ain't a fucking, I'm not like a social media rapper. Like, I'm really out here. Like, I really, I have real life shit going on. Like, I said, you know I, mean? I got children and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't devote all my time to, to music. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I got my, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's just how it is. So when I got my downtime, I try to make my shit as raw as possible. And, 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 and um, just flood it. Just whoever I can send it to, wherever I can put it on any kind of outlet. I'm really, just, uh, <laughs> I'm really just trying to. <laughs> Straight away from the whole fucking stuttering shit. Fucking high shit. Fucking, I'm straight away from the whole Apple, um, Apple Music and the iTunes shit right now. I'm not really trying to make no money right now off the, off the shit because the beats I'm using, I'm not, um, I ain't trying to pay for all of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now I'm just trying to generate the buzz. Right now, that's all I'm worried about doing. Then we'll, we'll worry about you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. We'll get money to get money. will come later. Right now we're trying to build a brand, and build a wave, or whatever. That, that's exactly how I think. Like you know what I'm saying. You know. Niggas try to jump in. I see I'm bumping in this year. 
Uh, niggas try to jump in and shit and just think there's gonna be all the, a payout already. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving shit away for free, man. Just like when I, you know, yeah. when I used to sell drugs, I used to give somebody a little something for free, let them try it. And then come right back and then spend that money. It's the same with the game. You know what I'm saying? With the <laughs> it's the same shit. Yeah. You know, you just might be giving out free shit a little longer in the rap game. Uh huh. Other than that, they gonna come back, spin back. The other day, you caught me off guard when you gave me the fucking rice and and, and steak, you know? Cause that was like that was officially like the first time I met you was one on one. Damn, this motherfucker already opened up, already like offering me food, you know, like family, family does. When they have anything, like damn, yeah, bro, that's, that's how like, the that's fuck I am, bro. That's all right. That's, that's how I start any any kind of fucking you know what I'm saying bomb anybody. Like I always show my love, you know. This is who I am. Right? And plus, it ain't my money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I told you that's all Joe Biden, nigga. Joe Biden <laughs> sending them food stamps out and shit. Might as well get niggas a steak, you know what I mean? My fucking, you know, mm-hmm. my kids are taken care of. My son got so many goddamn Jordans. It's not, I, t- I tell his mom to stop. Mm-hmm. She takes all my, she, I don't, she don't take all my money, but she takes my some of my money, so. She she makes sure they got everything they need, uh-huh. you know. And he's got too much shit, so it doesn't matter if I get my food stamps away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But my bread, I got. I'm just, I just I just need to save my money. I, you know what I mean? You can't. I need to start saving my bread more. That's really yeah. That's really all my problem is. I got, I've had horrible spending habits my whole life. Horrible. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I have a bunch of bread. You know what I mean? It's not, and then I will just run through it. You know. Mm-hmm. Because I gotta start doing, stop living for the moment. You know what I'm saying? They start trying to start <laughs> putting something away. You know. But then I ask myself for what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, as long as my kids are really taken care of, I really don't give a fuck. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The first one, you named him after you. Yeah. What did you name your two girls after? My baby mom wanted to. Um, so I used to listen to Jay Z all the time, and um, he's always shout out his man's. His name was Emery. Emery. Yeah, Emery. She she always liked that name when she heard it. So that's my first daughter's name, Emery. And my middle daughter's name. I mean, my um, youngest daughter's name is Haley. Like Eminem's daughter. Yeah. But it is what it is. You know, they're the love. They're the loves of my life. And um, everything is. Right now, it's like, I can't really, I mean, CT sucks. We know that. We should get into that next. But other than that, life is, you know, like what Jesus said, minus the bullshit, life's great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, never just, read, I never read the Bible. No, nah, Jeezy. Jeezy said that. No, Jeezy. Not Jesus. The other rapper. Yeah, it's rapper, rapper, nigga. Minus the bullshit, yeah. life's great. Just got a camera on the peach in my license plate because he's from Georgia, you know? <laughs> Yeah. This is bullshit, life's alright. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm about, I'm about to take it, you know what I mean? Florida, Florida, my man's down in Florida and my, my man's is down in VA. I'm about, to, I'm about to go down there for a couple of weeks. I gotta get up out of here, niggas like acting stupid already. This month you going? Nah, well, probably end of June. <clears throat> end of June, mid July, mm-hmm. beginning of July. Yeah. Do you guys enjoy yourself? Shit, man. man. Are they gonna oh, be I'm gonna, man. I'm about to, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm trying to get this project done. I'm trying to get this project done when I'm out there. Have my shit on a flash drive. Go out there. You know, in Miami, you never know. You never know who you meet out there. You know what I'm saying? Meek Mill be out there. Right there. Handle right <laughs> <laughs> you know, that flash drive, yeah. nigga. So, you know. Plus, you know, we're going to get into that. What else is going on out there? So. Yeah. But, yeah. So, what kind of music you like, though? Pretty much could go to? for anything. Could go for any uh any type. It was rap, R and B, a classic uh, mix, uh, like you know, nineteen sixties, seventies. I pretty much like to cover like all all types of ground when it comes to music. You know? Yeah. Because I get I get bored of the same music I've just played over and over again. Yeah, my my uh whatever I don't know what she wants to call herself the the female in my life. Um, I be listening to Three Doors Down, that Superman shit. That's one of my favorite <laughs> songs, you know what I'm saying? Because I can just, I don't know what it is about that song, mm. but I love it. And um, 
I could picture my I just picture myself in something really fast driving that and mm. that song playing, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> something really quick, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're looking at the camera, but yeah, it's it's only the voice. It's only the I know, voice. that's how high I've been. I'm sitting yeah. here I'm sitting here looking at the fucking phone. I'm trying to see if it's recorded or not, like but I kinda thought I I kinda knew it wasn't. It's cause I knew my shit was looking crazy, but then again I'm trying to make sure I talk into the mic too because I was sitting there staring at <laughs> high as shit. Yeah, you were. I was like, yeah. I like what the staring fuck? at me. I'm stuck, bro. I don't know what. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck. That shit got me high, but I don't know if it's I ain't smoked today or what, man. Mm-hmm. That's the same way you got, you got the other day? Yeah, the Luna. That was the Luna. So weird. Yeah, so how was that? You mean, how was that crossfit shit today? <laughs> man, you know, you're looking sore. Your ankle looking like you... You done rolled the motherfucker. I done, I done fucked my shit up the other day bad. A little, a little, a little, a little light altercation. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He was wrestling someone? Huh? He was wrestling someone? Nah, you know what I mean? That's a little light altercation. I don't want to get into it because it's really not. Um, it, has, it, hasn't came to us, it hasn't came to a conclusion yet. So. Uh-huh. It's still up in the air for certain, some certain shit. So. My shit fucked up. It just, it just got back down and just like, so just like stops being all swollen and shit. Yeah. Did you learn how to fight at home, or you just you know went to the Nah, show? I learned how to fight because I had two older brothers. I was one to whoop my black ass. Shout out to you, punk ass, <laughs> ass nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, punch me in my face and shit when I was a kid and shit. You know what I mean? We used to get altercations and niggas start punching. Me. You know, I was a kid, you know what I mean? I didn't know what to do. Like, I didn't know how to fight and shit. My brother came back from Philly once. You know what I mean? Look, he had all these boxing, learned these boxing skills and shit. So to, after you catch a couple jabs, you start, you start blocking. You <laughs> <laughs> start, <laughs> start blocking shit. The whole state of New York is legal marijuana. You can walk out in New York City right now, anywhere, and smoke a blunt. In the middle of the street, in front of the cops. The whole world is catching on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, people know that marijuana is not, you know, they, they got Jay-Z's promoting. Jay-Z's got his own line of buds. Mm. Snoop Dogg, Martin Stewart. All these people are investing in this shit because it's, it's not, yeah. you can't stop it. It's gonna, like, it's just growing. Like, you know how much money Colorado made their first week of sales? Their first week of sales when they opened, started opening up this, when Colorado became um, legal, their first week sales of, of marijuana, bro, this shit was... It's probably still funding governments across the United States right now. You know what I'm saying? They they they, they smartened up by like, all right, we can't stop it, so we're just gonna tax it. Mm. And the marijuana industry, they make people are making millions of dollars, bro. Look this shit up when you got a time mm-hmm. chance. The the marijuana industry, how much money's making million a year? Probably fucking six hundred billion dollars a year industry. Mm-hmm. There's so much other drugs around here that's killing people. That's why people don't care about marijuana. Plants obviously, like it has a lot of healing abilities. The T, the, even the THC part of the plant, they give it to kids that got cancer. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. use THC gummies and shit. They give, it, and kids live, in the, and it helps them. So how could we? How could somebody even look at this and say it's bad? You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? When there's a kid who's who's fighting for his life, yeah, and this is saving his life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is what people people don't say. This people don't put that out there. They're gonna die, they're just gonna shun it. You know, people don't want to realize that. But they, but then you got to think about it. Tobacco and alcohol are number, are the number one and two killers in America, but it's perfectly legal. Why is why do you think that is? Why do you think it took so long for weed to be legal? Mm-hmm. Because it makes just like we were talking about the other day, it makes people open their eyes up and make different decisions. They don't want that. They rather you get drunk and drink and to smoke tobacco, mm-hmm. which is going to make your life expectancy short as short as they want, or you're going to have some kind of disease where they're fun. They're getting money off you now mm-hmm. because you know there's cures for everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Any anything, any disease, there's a natural cure for, but they don't want that because they make too much money off people who got cancer, mm-hmm. people who got AIDS, and shit like that. They make too much money off that shit, bro. Big pharma, bro. Think mm-hmm. about it, bro. And then you, know, you, you motherfuckers, want me, the same people want me to take a COVID. I mean, to, to, to fuck, even to fuck the COVID shot. You guys want me to follow your CDA regulations? There's no way. Mm-hmm. This is like the, this is actual people from your government on TV saying these things. Like, oh well, we, we're not sure what it does. The mask does. So how could I how could I put my faith in you? There's no way. There'd be no way. They're trying to take people's guns away. I, if, I don't know you, but I suggest you don't got no felonies, no criminal history. I suggest you go get your gun license, and soon. You got yours? Hell no, I can't get mine. I don't think because I did some washes back in the day. 
That's what I'm saying. Like the court when it comes to weed and shit, like mm-hmm. I smoke weed anywhere. Literally, legit. I start walking right in front of Starbucks. I've been in. I've been to court for some some things. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, get your shit, man. Trust me, you have the right. It's a, it's a, it's a sec, in the Second Amendment. You have the right to bear yeah. arms, bro. You have the right to, and they're trying to, they're trying to make it, you know, they're trying to make it as, they're trying to say it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a privilege, like driving, like driving is a privilege, yeah. but your amendment says you have the right. Mm-hmm. They're arguing and trying to change it to, you have, it's a, it's a principle, I mean, a privilege to carry a gun. Mm-hmm. Nigga, they're, they're taking your rights in front of you, right? Mm-hmm. And, and mixing them up, making them what they want. And people are not saying anything. People are just focusing on, <laughs> on Twitter <laughs> and people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Trust me, don't get me wrong, I'll be on social media too, but I'm, I also see what the fuck's going on around me. Mm-hmm. And if I had the chance, bro, I'd be arming up water and guns. Is there a thing you don't like about guns? I like, I don't like when people use guns for nonsense. I don't like when innocence gets taken, taken advantage, taken through guns. I don't like when people, like, use guns to feel powerful. The only things I believe in guns for is to protect your family. Mm. I don't believe in carrying a gun on my waist every day, especially not around here. I don't need no damn gun around here. I know everybody out here, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fuck it. And plus, if it's, if something's going to happen, it's, it's going to happen, you know? Mm-hmm. If it's your time to go, you having a gun on you is not going to stop it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because somebody can draw on you quicker, or you know what I mean? Anything. Yeah. You can get hit by a car. You can have a gun on you all day. <laughs> you can worry about somebody shooting you, right? And then you can get hit by a fucking truck. Like, mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter, like, but I just believe in, like, home protection, you know, somewhere yeah. tucked away. In case somebody try to take their life, you know, or somebody you love one loved one's life, mm-hmm. and that's that's it, man. That's all I fucking. That's the only reason why I would have them, like. 